Okay, friends, it's the next day, and I've been working on this little jar here that I've showed you on the video. Uh, the lid I made oversized with the uh, idea that I can always make it smaller, um, but I can also use that width for some decorative detail. So I decided to do this kind of scalloped edge on it to mimic the jar. So the jar, I have done all my creasing in there. I've added the foot details to it. I might go back and do a little cleanup on some of these areas now that it's stiffened up a bit. I, I stick it under plastic at night always until I'm totally done with it. Uh, it just allows me a little bit more chance to do it. A little concerned about the rim on this being a little bit high. It makes the lid sit high. And I think from a design point of view, I think I'd like to drop that down just a little bit. And I can still do that at this point. Um, I'm a big uh, believer in uh, designing on the fly. <clears throat> so I design as I do this. I don't sketch things out very much. I usually uh, get an idea and I make it and then I can refine it. So I'm just sticking this in my chuck here. And everything's uh, stiff leather at this point, pretty much stiff leather. A little bit more. At this point I can also um, adjust for fit. If for some reason the lid in its drying, the lid in the body, they're a little bit off, especially if it's a little bit tight, I can loosen it up. And I do that by trimming on the inside here. We're leaving it out like there. I like to, with all of my lidded pieces, porcelain pieces, I like to have just a little bit of movement. And right now I really don't have any movement. And that means it could be sitting proud or it could be just right. And I'm actually, I like to have a little bit of motion in there. It helps release lids after they're glaze fired. I always fire them with alumina hydrate uh, mixed in with a little bit of wax. Um, put the lid on it for the glaze fire. But that a little bit of movement also means and we're just talking about a micro movement, just a little bit of movement there. Means that if you have to tap it off, it has some place to go. If it's a little bit of a cork fit, it can get even tighter and confuse down so that you'll end up breaking something, getting it out there. So uh, before these go into the biscuit, after they're totally bone dry, I also take them and I rotate them several times uh, to make sure that it still has that fit. If it doesn't, I can still go back with a sharp tool, stick it on the wheel, bone dry, and remove just a little bit there. I can refine it. So right now I've got pretty much, let's see how it looks. Hard to tell from above. So I've lowered the flange, the lid flange, just a little bit. And I like that. I think I, I like that better than it sitting a little too high. So I think I'm going to go with that. I see a little cleanup details I'm going to do. So go back in. The edge of this rim needs to be cleaned up a little bit here. Now, I've done some carving to create these scallops on the lid here, but what I'm going to do is let it dry a little bit, and then I come back and shave it a little bit more um, and uh, even sand it a little bit. And then last thing I'll do is take a uh, real dry sponge, and I'll smooth out all the edges and round them over and everything like that. Um, I also might soften these petal parts here and try and drop them down a little bit, give a little bit more up and down um, movement in there. Uh, so anyhow, I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. <laughs> 